Hello everyone and welcome to the Dinochirus Habitat Tour. So the enclosure is finally complete and now we're going to give you a little show around of the enclosure. So first things first, let's uh, just get rid of that fog because even though it did look quite cool then, added to the ambiance. Um, we want to be able to see so let's get that sun out so let's begin over here so as you can see this path leads nowhere yet but imagine you've just come from somewhere else in the zoo and you come here to this lovely view of the swamp and you can walk along this path and then you find yourself at this lovely little pond which I would love to imagine some koi fish just swimming around in here enjoying themselves and the guests can just enjoy the beautiful colourful fish but we'll just have to use our imagination for now but here we have two signs I need to actually write on these saying uh, the hide is this way so you go along this path and then another beautiful view of the swamp lovely stuff and here is the hide you can take a little seat here if you just want to chill and in we go to the hide Woo, lovely and inside the hide you can see we have some information at the back some bins to keep the zoo tidy and here is the lovely little spy holes so you can come up and get your binoculars and what's great here is you can see the animals behaving like they would in the wild because uh, the whole point of a hide is that uh, the animals don't know you're watching you don't know that they're there that's why I've made it very overgrown I put uh, trees around it and it blends in very well so the Dinocaris will just be going along the waterways here and behaving naturally without even being disturbed so they have it the hide lovely stuff so you can come out the other side here and go along the curved path we have two fences because if we just had this one the guests could still put their hands through and possibly get uh, pecked or attacked by the Dinochirus and we don't want that so we have to put this fence in just to keep the guests back lovely stuff come around the corner and here we have the boardwalk where now we're going to take you into the enclosure you've been on the outside of the enclosure now you're about to go and immerse yourself into the swamp so up here you get a good view because you're a bit higher up because swamps tend to be quite flat there's not many hills in swamps it's just flat flat uh, swampy waterways in wetlands so here you get a nice look over the whole swamp and of course behind you is part of the exhibit as well which is very good and I've just blocked it off here with some rocks the Dinocaris can come up here but then that's where the enclosure stops but the Dinocaris can go underneath the bridge if we bring if we bring one over oh my god it won't it's not recognizing it why aren't you recognizing it I don't know why oh there we go so let's bring the Dinochirus over and here you can see they could just be relaxing chilling out in the swamp as the guests walk on by oh I just realized these do not fit, <laughs> reach the water <laughs> oh it's only afterwards you notice your mistakes I'll have to uh, I'll have to sort that out I didn't even realize that before when you're in the middle of building you can get so um, you can get so distracted sometimes you don't realize so yes I do need to bring those down but they have it the feet this is the female here so we have a mating pair and then we go along here I love this type of tree love it how it just overhangs beautiful and then we have the um, viewing platforms here that you can come 
and get a good look at the Dinochirus Island. And you probably won't be able to see it there because they've hidden it away so well. But over here, the pair have been getting very busy. They have a clutch of eggs and the male has abandoned them. Where the hell is the male? Where is he? We've located the male. He has escaped. <laughs> uh, he's been wandering, wandering around. Why have you gone out there? You've got all this, this lovely natural habitat, and you've abandoned your eggs. Oh, dear Lord. So, here is the nest for the, um, the Dinochirus that we've made. Wonderful stuff just out of a few sticks and a few snowballs that we've just stretched to um, make them look like eggs and I rather like that and I can just see them just sitting on the nest guarding it while one of them goes out to collect food wonderful lovely stuff so there is the uh, the nest and not far away, the pair have this lovely little cave where they can come and uh, just relax, get out of that intense sun if it gets a bit too warm, chill out inside here, get away from the guests as well if the guests are, you know, uh, winding them up. If there's some children over here making a racket, they can just go in there and chill out. So there's the island. And these are the borders here, but we've just made it blend in so it looks a bit more natural. Uh, lovely stuff. So let's go back to the viewing platforms over here. Uh, so the guests can, oh, wrong button, can go along here to another viewing platform. And this one. Let me just take that off. There we go. That's better. Uh, here you can get a good view of the island and the whole habitat. Look at that for a view. Wonderful stuff. And then continue down this lovely curved uh, boardwalk down the stairs and then down this lovely curved path to the boathouse and the beautiful docking area here. And here I can actually, <laughs> I'm thinking of, um, this could be something for the staff to use to actually come out and get on some canoes or boat or whatever. And if there's a problem in the habitat, I don't know, maybe someone's dropped a phone off the edge or I don't know, the, the, the Dinochirus needs some medical attention or something I don't know they need to get in the enclosure some way and maybe they would use canoes hopefully the Dinochirus would not attack them because uh, he would know that they're actually here to help him but they might be very protective of their nest so you don't know they might come around here and they'd have to be very careful maybe distract them with something over here maybe some food get them down this end and then they can go and do whatever they need to do collect the person's phone who's dropped it I don't know <laughs> but yes now we go around the boathouse and the docks to a nice little uh, cafe restaurant a uh, nice place for the guests to sit and enjoy their dinner lunch breakfast whatever um, and some shade from the tarps here just to you know why they're queuing up here to order their food lovely stuff and some vending machines for snacks and then they can go off once they've finished to the rest of the park which we haven't built yet but uh who knows what will they will encounter on the rest of their journey so there you have it um the tour of the dinochirus habitat so i hope you enjoyed um, please uh, leave a like and a comment down below um, I don't think the female can get out of there I think she's trapped <laughs> um, let's move her yes uh, so leave a like and comment um, 
please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, what I'll do is I'll finish off with a few uh, ambient shots of the Dinochirus enjoying their habitat. Lovely stuff. Hello there. You made it to the end. You must have really enjoyed this. If you did, why not subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you'd like to see how we made this exhibit, you can see the full speed build here.